Monday, Dawson's Creek's Joshua Jackson is back in the spotlight, and Diana Krall's seeing double. This is a whole other deal. Just weeks before the Tragically Hip's new album, World Container, drops, Toronto's Picto Studio has gone all hip with over a decade of snapshots by legendary rock and roll photographer Richard Bolland. The Tragically Hip's cult following in Canada has been going strong for two decades. Color of the Night is a retrospective of never-before-seen photos of this premier rock act. It's a bit of a compilation of live stuff, uh, things I've done backstage, sound check. Uh, there's some album artwork that I did for them. There's over 500 shots total here. The work speaks for itself. He's a master at shooting bands live. After a decade of working together, plenty of fond memories have been caught on film. The shots were in Violet Light. Uh, I suggested to Richard that we do some shots under uh, a black light. Unfortunately, our teeth aren't white enough. And whether they're being recorded on film or in the studio, timing is everything in the music biz. Their new album comes out October 17th. The single's on the radio. It's a great single. Uh, they just announced a tour. So I guess it's no secret that I, I wanted to work at the same time that, that all the buzz was happening around the band. I think it's a, a heavier record than we've made in a long time. I think working with Bob Rock really uh, brought something out of us. It's definitely uh, our drummer Johnny Faye's finest moment, and I think it was a great album for Gord Downey as well. And with the upcoming tour, Richard will be there to snap all those rock and roll moments. Uh, we're going out for uh, 15 shows across Canada. I, I feel great about it. I know what Richard does is going to be great. And once the lights go down, I, I, I'm not a whole lot happier anywhere else.